We are the Scottish Fawcett of Sock, Poppy Theatre, and so am I, and so is he, and here we see another venue in preparation. They're just putting the finishing touches to it. They've just built this building. That, not the whole thing. The rest of the year it's a university building here. Of course, we see the University Students' Union, which for the month of August becomes Teviot. And this is the Chaplaincy Centre, becomes the Pleasance Dome. And this is our brand new venue, the Gilded Balloon Paterhoos, the Paterhoos, the Paterhoos. And the rest of the year it's... Well, it says Adam Hoos, so it must be Adam's house then. Adam must move out for the month. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, thanks, Ad. In each of these major venues, there's smaller performance spaces in which a different show takes place every hour or so from 10 in the morning until well after midnight. So across these venues, which includes the Pleasance and the Underbelly and the Greenside and Southside and Summerhall and Zoom and Assembly and dozens more, they take so many shows, there must be thousands of shows, thousands of shows, doing millions of performances, yet yeah, citation needed, Google it. But when did this whole dividing big buildings up into little buildings for people to perform in begin? Ah, it began way back in 1978, 1978, with a man called William Burdett Coots. William Burdett Coots, yes. He hired the assembly rooms and divided the, 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 what, the assembly rooms. And what are assembly rooms? The, well, the rooms where people can assemble. So he divided the, these rooms for people. Yeah, people, like Avengers. With, Yes, I should imagine if the Avengers played at Edinburgh, they'd play at the assembly room. So he divided these, then next year they'd be at the Age of Ultron rooms, and then the Infinity War rooms, and then the End Game rooms. You're not really following the plot, are you? I am following the plot, are you? Yes! And I can tell you how it crosses over with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This has got nothing to do with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., has it not? No, it's not. Who started this whole multi tenanted assembly room venue then? William Burdett Coots. And what's a coot? It's a small water bird. And what do small water birds eat? They eat plants and vegetables and insects. Might they eat small freshwater organisms of the phylum Canadaria? They might. And do you know what a small freshwater organism of the phylum Canadaria is called? Tell me. Hydra. The multi-tenanted Edinburgh Fringe venue was started as a concept with the assembly rooms in 1978. And now there are loads of them. Hail Hydra.